Sainers, welcome back to another video on the Saints TV YouTube channel. And we all know what this one's all about. Really, really exciting news. Liam Henry, he's officially a St Kilda player. The club have got the deal done with Fremantle. And to be fair, I think it's a great deal. We thought we were going to get rid of our first uh, uh, pick 21 that we got from Gresham, the compensation. We didn't need to do that, which is really, really exciting. So the deal is basically to get this 22-year-old who had a career best season, 16 games, very, very good numbers overall for Fremantle. We parted ways with a future second round pick and a future fourth round pick while also obtaining a future fourth round pick from Fremantle. So we basically just swapped future fourths, gave away a future second rounder, and we got ourselves a young, exciting, speedy, just uh, just you know electric type of player that I think we really need in the lineup. And he's going to complement a lot of our youngsters very, very nicely. He fits the demographic. He was originally a top 10 pick only four seasons ago. Um, and he's slow, He's starting to come on now and, and really turn himself into a pretty exciting and pretty important player um, for Fremantle. And now we've got him. So it's awesome news. He's going to sign on for at least the next four seasons, which is great. So long-term deal. Um, and yeah, Liam Henry is is a player that we wanted to get done in this trade period, he nominated us just before the GWS uh, final, which was um, pretty exciting news going into that final. But it's great that we've still kept pick 21. So we still hold 13, 21, 35, and 56. So it's great that we didn't get rid of 21 because we can use that in other ways or we can keep it. And you basically have two players, you know, in the early stages of, of the first round of the draft, which is really, really handy. So great work there from, um, from Sauce. Um, and from the rest of the team, in terms of his overall numbers, uh, this season, 20 disposals, averaging 12 kicks above average, 8 handballs, 5 marks, 3 tackles, um, and yeah, career high 33 disposals against the Dogs, um, 8 marks against Essendon, 5 tackles against the Cats, and um, 118 fantasy points. So he's still a youngster, but I think he's going to slot into that sort of um, I don't know, hopefully a wing uh, position would be really, really handy, but we've got some good wingmen, but it's good to have, uh, you just top up with some silky sort of exciting players like him. I think he's going to complement what we've already got going. He fits the bill of the type of player that we'd like. He uses the ball pretty well. Um, and he's slowly, slowly starting to up his numbers. You know, he's gone from three games in 2020, 17 in 2021, 7 in 2022, and then he's gone back up to 16, and his numbers haven't been better. Um, so if you're going to get a player, you want to get a player that's young, hasn't hit his peak, uh, but he's starting to show signs of becoming a very, very good footballer. So Liam Henry is a St. Kilda player. A lot of Fremantle people <laughs> are not very happy about this. Um, I've already had a few people comment um, on the channel already, uh, a few Fremantle fan pages, but... I know a lot of Saners out there are going to be stoked that we got it over the line. Um, Kane Corns, uh, he said something earlier today about how we failed in this trade period and we haven't got, you know, the players that we wanted in. But I'd argue that getting, you know, a, a top 10 draft pick from four seasons ago before he's even hit his peak, they're starting to show signs um, for a future second rounder essentially is absurd. And then Paddy Dow is probably going to get done for pick 40 or so. And he was a top 10 draft pick, top five draft pick, you know, not so long ago. So you're getting top five, top 10 draft picks that have got experience under their belts. They've played a couple of seasons in AFL football and they've shown signs already uh, without being consistent, but showing signs. I think it's really exciting. Um, yeah, it's it's amazing. Sauce said today, um, Liam is an exciting young player with plenty of upside to excite Saints fans. His ability to find space is complemented by his elite skills and composure with ball in hand. We can't wait to welcome Liam and his family to the club. A uh, bit of background, he was taken obviously at pick number nine in the 2019 National Draft. Um, and he says, I love my time at the Dockers. They made my childhood dreams come true, which I'm very grateful for, but I felt like the time was right to make a change. I'm really keen to just dig into preseason and do my best to contribute to the team. So, um, yeah, we're very, very happy to have you on board, mate. Very excited to see how you go. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see him running around on a wing. Um, you've got Nasir at half back, Brad Hill, doing his thing and you think about it, you lose Gresh, you get someone like Liam Henry. I think it's, you know, it works both ways. Um, obviously Gresh wanted to leave. 
Henry wanted to get to the Saints. And I think it is a bit of an upgrade in terms of what we're about, the type of team going forward we want to be. I think players like Liam Henry, even Paddy Dow, you know, depending on how that goes, I think they they can be really handy in, in the overall development of this team for us to be a top eight team, a top four team, you know, to be early 20s and, and be this exciting, I think is really great. And the club have posted some highlights already of of some of his best work. So I highly recommend, I would put it here, but I don't want to get pinned for, you know, copyright or anything like that. So apologies, Saners. I wish I could overlay with highlights, but I just don't want to risk it. But there is a good, you know, minute um, minute of footage here from, from him. And you just see like, yeah, great goal there against the dogs. And he's snapping it around the body, very clean, obviously b- below his knees, uh, very good ground ball, but also has an eye for goal, which I think is really exciting. I think we need more players that can go into the midfield, but then have an eye for goal, um, but also use the ball really well, kicking it to, to leading forwards, which, you know, that's always been our struggle, moving the ball inside 50, hitting targets. But he's a player that I think can really do that, and he can run. This guy can run. So, And we know what Ross saw as our main strength, even before his first training session as coach this time last year, was that he said, I know they can run, and we know that Liam Henry can run. He can use the ball. He's miraculous in front of goal. I think he's going to be a fan favorite. And it's good to have so many players that are fan favorites. You know, there was always just Jack Steele, uh, Ron Marshall. But now there's, you know, every player, you, you could be, you, you just love them all. So um, he hasn't played a game for St. Kilda yet, but I know that he's, um, yeah, he's going to be very welcome uh, into the lineup when he makes his debut. Hopefully round one next year would be very exciting. So I'll leave it there saying it's just a quick announcement that Liam Henry is done. Uh, we've got him over the line from Fremantle. We traded a future second round pick and then swapped future fourth round picks. 22 years old, you know, hitting his, his straps now um, to becoming a really established, really exciting AFL player. And he's a saint and he wanted to be a saint. So that's really exciting. It reaffirms that what we're doing at Moorabbin, what the club's doing on and off the field is justified. We're ticking all the right boxes. We're getting, you know, some exciting young players that want to play for the club and obviously some really senior, important players re-signing and sticking on board and really believing in what Ross and co are doing. So comment your thoughts. Let me know what you think about signing Liam Henry, what you're most excited about seeing him do um, in the lineup next season. And uh, yeah, make sure you you go on the channel, you, you show your support for him, welcome him. Um, and yeah, can't wait to see him play. So I'll leave it there, Sainers. Thanks very much. And as always, go you mighty Sainers. Welcome to St. Kilda, Liam Henry. 